fixing your volume using replay gain. Yes, sir, B. Greetings, fellow LibriVoxers. This is Phil Chenevere, the LibriVox video guy. Um, telling you or trying to give you a little video about using a tool built into Audacity called Replay Gain. Now the question often comes up, Oh dear, my track is too soft and I don't know what decibel it is. They tell me I have to reach 89. I don't know where that is. Um, I have no idea how to find out all this stuff. Well, let me reassure your mind, folks. Um, replay Gain is built into Audacity. Um, they have an older version and a newer version. I'm going to show you about that. Suppose this is your track. Uh, this track has a decibel level of 82, which is fairly low. Replay Gain, you go to Effect, way down here close to the bottom, there's something called Replay Gain. Pop. Replay Gain, I'm going to move it out so you can see it. Um, all this warning, blah, blah, has two settings. You can normalize or you can analyze. Now, let's deal with the analyze first because the older version, the first version of Replay Gain only had analyze. You simply click, and by the way, there's this adjust normalize output, negative zero, zero, zero. Just leave it at zero. I'm going to click OK. Let's analyze it. Replay gain level plus 6.7. Now, if you were to add 6.7, all right, by the way, what that means is it's telling you to amplify your file by 6.7 decibels will bring you up to close to 89. Yes, it will. And you can do that. You can go to Effect, Amplify, and put in uh, 6.9. Click OK. There it is. That's going to be about 89 decibels. Isn't that cool? However, I'm going to undo that. And you can do it. The newer um, replay gain has something called normalize. Now, normalize in this case means to, nor to normalize it to about 89 decibels. So just click OK. And it does it for you. You don't have to go in and do the other one. Isn't that cool? Now, suppose we have, um, like this, you've got a track here that comes in at 96 decibels. Oh, that's way too much. It's too loud. Oh, heavens to Betsy. So let's try replay gain again. We're going to go to normalize. Well, let's go to um, analyze and see what it says. It says negative 7.1. It's telling you to reduce the level uh, by 7.1 decibels and you could do that we could go to effect amplify and put in a negative 7.1 negative 7.1 and say okay and that will bring it down to about 89 decibels I'll approve this in a few minutes but right now let's undo it and if you have an older version then that is what it does I mean it will only tell you to reduce it by that much or to increase it by that much but with the newer version, it, it can do it, normalize it, and click OK, poop, and it does it for you. Yes, isn't that astounding? Here's another one. See, this is, let's see, too soft. Here's one, here's one that's 84 decibels. I know this because I used our checker program to check them out. In this case, it's 84 point something. 84.7. So let's go to replay gain, analyze, analyze it, and 5.3. Guess what that's going to do? 84.7 plus 5.3 should bring you up to 89. Well, if it doesn't, well, I'm sorry. Let's try replay gain. Normalize. Pow. And it's up there. Now the question may be, is this really at 89? Well, let's find out. Okay, folks. I just wanted to show you that I have the three samples up here. Let's start with the um, test to replay gain. The one that was 82 decibels is now 88.7. The one that was 84 decibels is now 89.3. And the one that was 96 decibels, way too loud, is now 88.8.
So as you can see, the replay gain is a fairly good tool. Whoops, let me bring one up here. To um, <clears throat> quickly raise your thing. Now, be be aware of the fact that it's going to amplify your file, and with all amplifications, it's going to amplify the noise in there too. So be sure that your noise level is low, and that you you realize what's going to happen. Um, but if you're looking to, to for a quick way to increase your volume or to decrease your volume to our accepted level, there she is. As always, remember, gentlemen, we are professionals. You should not try this without your parents' permission. Bye-bye. This product contains peanuts, gluten, and one live Cajun.